Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, we are going to talk about enumerated data types. We will see its uses and also provide a contrast between macros and enums. So let's begin. To understand enums or enumerated data types, let's take an example in which we need to process the gender. If gender is zero, then it will be considered as male. If gender is one, then female. And if it is two, then it will be considered as others. Right? Now, based on the gender, the amount of discount will be provided. For example, if G equal equal zero or G is male, then the discount will be of 10%. Then if G is one, then 20%. And if G is two, then of 30% right so I have made here a variable and simply taken the input as G right so based upon the gender the output will be shown right but let's say the somebody else some other guys or your teachers or let's say some other programmers see your code now when you when he will see this code will he be able to recognize that G equal equal 0 means that we are talking about male or G equal equal 1 it means that it is female or G equal equal 2 it is means others no he will not be why because you have to explicitly tell it that whenever g is zero we are considering it male okay so this approach is okay but it could be improved with the help of enums now what are enums enums are basically the integer constant okay enum r or enum data type is user defined user defined data type which will be used for for I am writing here integer constant okay note that declaration of our enum is similar to the declaration of structure so I'll write here enum then let's say the name of our enum data type is gender and then the values let's say it is male female and others right and that will be all okay and semicolon at the end now what will compiler do implicitly it will assign the male value with 0 then female with 1 and others with 2 basically it is start giving the values from 0 up, up to number of enumerator exist if there is another enumerator let's say for example k then this will be holding the value of 3 okay or this constant is equal to 3 right so right now there are 2 or up to 2 values okay these inside the enums are known as the enumerators enumerators right note that these male female and others are just constant okay they are not consuming any memory for example they are not are the variables of type integer or character they are just constant meaning that if i am writing male it is similar to writing zero okay if i am writing female it is similar to writing as one okay so now instead of writing this if g equal equal 0 i'll write here if g is equal equal male right similarly here i will write female and here i will write others now if someone will see your code it will be easier for him to understand what is going in your code so the role of enum is to just make our program better to understand or it increases the readability of our program right so here basically we can say i had replaced zero with male either i can write here zero or i can write here male for someone like end user for them you can write here printf enter zero for male enter one for female and enter two for others basically giving instruction for that particular end user right but for other programmers who will like to see quickly the logic of your program for them it will be much easier for them to interpret it right one can also initialize our constant to the variable for example here someone can also write int g equals to male okay this will be equivalent to g equals to zero right or g equals to female or g equals to other now if somebody will else will see that it is g equal to male then it will be easier for him to know that okay we are right now talking about the male okay for values he can directly consider that enumerator okay now just like we can make the structure variable we can also make our enum variables that is using enum basically writing this data type this is our data type user defined data type so i'll write here enum gender 
and let's say I'll make a variable with the name g1. Okay. Now g1 can only hold any values of the enumerator. So g1 can be male or female or other. So I can write here g1 equals to male, right? Or instead of writing here g equals to male, I can also write g equals to g1. Okay. Everything will have the same meaning, right? Multiple variables can also be made. For example, g1 comma g2. Right? just like we saw in the structure videos how we were able to make the multiple variables so here also we can make multiple variables also okay remember that the default values start from the zero but if you want to change your default value then you can write here male equals to let's say six right now what will happen male will be equal to the constant value of six then female will be seven and then others will be eight right now let me give you another example that in which male could be 6 and for female you want let's say 16 then you can initialize the value with 16 right and others let's say you want 22 then you can write here equals to 22 okay you can also give the values like this basically meaning that whenever somewhere is it is using male then it means the value or the constant will be 6 so here male let's say here it is checking for g is equal equal 6 okay because i had given here 6 one more thing is that the next enumerator value will be determined from the previous value okay for example here if i don't write equals to 16 then the default value will be the next value holded by the male so right now the value will be of female will be 7 right let's say now i write here 22 okay and here i do not write anything so now the value of others will be taken from the previous value so it will be one more than the previous value that will be the value of currently of others will be 23 one more than this okay one more than female right so remember this point now if you remember about the macros the same thing could also be achieved using the has defined preprocessor directive right so for the same thing i can write has defined and then male and with the value i can give it let's say zero okay then similarly another macro with the value of let's say female value of one and then others right define others with the value of let's say two okay and the same thing is achieved here also right so if i write these anywhere in my code then these will be treated as male will be treated as zero then female will be as one and then others will be as Two, right so you can use either this or you can either use enum now what is the difference between using the macros and the enumerated data types let's talk about it the very first difference is that enum enumerators are automatically initialized okay for example if i need to store the days then i can write here mon then tue tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday and sunday right and i also need not to initialize every variable automatically the value the enumerators will be assigned with the value of 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay this is automatically done when we are using enumeration but whenever we are using macros then we have to tell the values of the constant okay so if i am using macros then i have to write month then again 0 then similarly then i have to write for tuesday tue then 1 then has defined wednesday with the value of 2 right so the first difference is that the values in the enums are automatically given okay values in the enumerators are automatically given until we are explicitly giving it some values explicitly i mean that i am writing as tuesday equals to 16 okay this is explicitly initializing okay or explicitly giving a value to some enumerator but here we cannot write only has defined bad okay we have to write some values here to know okay which value you want to use with the constant name of WED, right? Another difference is that enum can also have their variables. For example, I can write here enum days, then I can make a variable with the name D1, then assign some value D1 equals to let's say THR, okay? Then later on, I can initialize this value to some variable also and also the enumerator also, okay? I can either initialize D1 or either initialize THR, okay? Both will be perfectly fine. So I can write here int let's say day equals to d1 or i can write here day equals to thr okay both will be perfectly fine but in the case of 
macros no such feature is provided right so this is a second difference now the third difference is that the macros are processed during the pre-processing phase and these will be processed in the compilation phase okay so this will be a third difference and the last difference is that enumerated data types can be local and global okay the scope could be either local or global right global but the scope of the macros is always global now for that let's make a function here with the name void fun a simple very short function and i'll write here in the definition void fun and i'll write here let's say int d1 equals to let's say wed okay or d2 let's say right that's all and here i am calling it from any location you can call fun right so in this case this line will give us error why it will give us error because the enumerated dates are defined in the main function and the scope of this enumerated data type is within its block okay so that data type cannot be accessed anywhere else so right now it is working as a local enumerated data type now to make it global we have to write it above the all function now in the case of the macros the scope will always be global for example inside the void main let's say i am writing has defined and i'll write here let's say month with value of 2 okay let's say 2 right and then i write here printf percent d and then month and let's say there is function also void fun and i'll write here printf percent d mon okay and let's say there is also the prototype right now in this case here it will give us output as 2 okay and here also it will give us output as 2 now the question arises here is that why the scope of the macros here is always global and the reason here is that because the hash or preprocessor directive are processed during the preprocessing phase okay preprocessing phase which is before the compilation phase now in this phase what happens all the source code of our program is checked and our every instructions are checked before going to the compilation okay so before going to the compilation it is seeing that there is an instruction has defined mun2 so it will wherever it is written mun it will be replaced with the 2 okay so this is happening before the compilation and this is happening at the time of the compilation that's why it have the local and global scope while it is always have the global scope now if you don't know about the hash define and other types of preprocessor directive then you can check out the videos on the preprocessor directive in which i have talked you in detail what are preprocessor directive and its different types okay so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see you in the next video